got an anti-penultimate wager in a category on Millard Fillmore. What's not to love on this Monday? Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams. Belongs to our champ Greg, who is in his third game. He's got a $5,000 lead over Tim. What does he do with this $1,600 daily double? There's a $2,000 clue left. Lots of things could happen. Let's first imagine that this clue either goes unplayed or goes unanswered. If Greg wants to lock Tim out now, he'll have to get to above double Tim's total. That's 33-2. That's going to be a wager of 11601 If he's wrong with that wager, he's going to be left with just a shade under 10000 Still in contention, even if Tim gets that $2,000 clue, and he'll Greg will be in a much better position if he himself gets that $2,000 clue. If he really wants to lock things up and he's afraid that Tim might get this $2,000 clue, add 4000 to his wager, 15601 The downside of that is that if he misses, he'll be out of contention with just under 6000 No chance of catching Tim, even with that $2,000 clue. What if he's feeling a little less confident in the category? It is an obscure topic, of course. The other thing I would suggest he do is go for what we call a crush. That is, having more than one and a half times the trailer's score. In that case, the only way you can lose the leader is if you get it wrong and the trailer gets it right. There's no mind games, it's just straight up, I'm gonna beat you by a dollar and you have to try to double up and catch me. The way we calculate that is by taking half of Tim's score and then adding that to his present score. That'll be one and a half times. So half his score is 8,300. Adding that to his total right now, 24,9. That's going to be a wager of 3,300 out of Greg. If he's wrong with that total, he's going to have 18,3. Still in the lead. There is the risk that Tim could get the $2,000 clue right and pass him, but really, what are the odds? Probably not that great. So those are the two wagers I would recommend. There is that other option of, let's say Tim gets that $2,000 clue, add 4000 again, so 7301 also feasible. Of course, if he does get it wrong, he's going to be left with, uh, Greg's going to be left with 14 299 Can't take the lead back from Tim. Tricky scenario. He went with 2600 I guess he just wanted to preserve the lead over Tim. And Tim helped him out big time by missing that $2,000 clue. As it stood heading into final, Greg had 24-2, Anne Marie still at 800, and Tim had 14-6. So if he doubles up left 29-2, Greg just needs 5,000 to put it away, and if Greg misses with that, 19-2. Tim has to double up. And it was a good wager out of Greg, not so much out of Tim. Leaves a lot of money on the table. I don't get why people just don't go all in. If we didn't have this anti penultimate wager, I would have done a little tutorial on expected value, but that'll have to wait for another day. So Greg has now three wins, and he is on the leaderboard for the Tournament of Champions. We'll see if he takes four tomorrow on the final wager.